back to the comments section. I'm Brett Cooper. I have a very, very exciting announcement for you all today. I know you have been waiting for this. We have often talked about how trans women are truly just breaking through the glass ceiling on behalf of women. Truly, you know, moving us all forward, progressing us. We have, you know, Miss Universe is now owned by a man. So that's very exciting. They're dominating sports like Leah Thomas, just breaking all records for women. Uh, we have them taking over social media like Dylan Mulvaney, probably one of the biggest influencers in the world now. And now they're taking over yet another sport, figure skating. Let's kick some ice. Okay. That is right. Finland debuted their very first trans ice skater over the weekend. This is going to be a doozy. But before we get into it, make sure that you like this video. Subscribe to this channel if you have not already. And ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section or off the clock episode. All right, let's just go ahead and watch this video. You might have seen it already. It is, I laugh every time. Here he goes. Looks like he's in a negligee. Like my grandma might wear. Oh, oh, good. Excellent. Clearly they're based on merit. And talent. Oh, boy. <laughs> Come on, stand on up. Look at all these, like, beautiful women. Oh, that's nice. That is very kind. That's good. Oh. Now, obviously, I don't want anybody to be embarrassed. Falling when you're performing, anything like that, it's no fun. Would you like to join me for a dance? <laughs> so, obviously, I'm glad that somebody helped, you know, pick him up. That's just a uncomfortable situation regardless. But still, we have to laugh at this. It's just so absurd. On Instagram, somebody commented and said, so graceful and majestic. This has moved me. And they put the pregnant man emoji. This person figure skating is what Kamala Harris says to the vice presidency. Pathetic and hilarious. If you're going to do this, sir, at least take ballet or dance to try to be athletic. This is a mockery of an incredibly difficult sport. They will probably give him a damn medal. Yes, it does not matter how bad you are. If you check the intersectional boxes, they're gonna be like, oh my God, you're such a star. Break through that ice ceiling in this circumstance. Somebody else said, just woke up a few days ago and decided to be a trans figure skater. Ronnie Renner said, bring Tanya out to handle this. Speaking of her, if you don't know who Tanya Harding is, go watch the movie I, Tanya. It is fantastic. She is a very controversial yet talented figure skater. You'll get the context once you see that, but uh, Jack Posobiec said, mentally ill 50-year-old dudes, women's sports. That's Tanya Harding. She like theoretically definitely did injured one of her competitors. Okay, so some context. This occurred at the opening ceremony of the European Figure Skating Championships, which are going on right now. So this is not some like county ice skating rink, somebody do it. No, this is like a very big, very important championship. And this person is performing. The theme of this year's event is just be you. <laughs> How ironic. And this trans skater, who is a 59-year-old man named Mina Maria, was a featured guest. This is from the website. The spectacular opening ceremony praises equality and diversity. Excellent. So does everybody else in the entire world right now. The ISU European Figure Skating Championships at Espoo Metro Arena will begin on Wednesday, January 25th, with a spectacular opening ceremony drawing its inspiration from the event's theme, Just Be You. The Finnish Figure Skating Association promotes the importance of equality and diversity and develops skating according to its values. With the diverse group of performers, we want to show that the ice has space for everyone. The opening ceremony will present skaters at various levels from the non-professionals to top athletes. On the ice, we will see single skaters, synchronized skaters, and pairs. Included among the performers is figure skater Mina Maria Antikninkinen, who defines herself as a gender-neutral woman, adaptive skating performers, and a male synchronized skating team. Now, let's just watch that original video again now with the context. So, this is all for progressive brownie points. All of it. You just have to enjoy this one more time. So, you have all these beautiful top athletes. They're all beautiful. They're all performing here in Finland. Oh, there we go. That's nice. I mean, it's just so, so strange. Now, it just keeps getting better because Mina Maria started skating after he transitioned because he always wanted to be an ice princess. And so he's <laughs> trying to achieve that goal. Like, sir, you are not six years old. Please do not call yourself an ice princess. Here's an up-close photo. Somebody said, a man who just wants to be an ice princess. Here's another one. This one is particularly 
jarring for me. There he is in a tutu. Somebody replied to a Redux article about it and said, my childhood dream was to become a dentist. I would like to ask a dental office to let me pull someone's tooth out so I can fulfill my dreams. Somebody else said, why is he being treated like a cancer patient in the Make-A-Wish Foundation? That actually is a really, really fantastic analogy. Like, oh my God, we're so sorry we've oppressed you for all of these. Here, here, you can do anything. You can win any medal. We'll let you win anything. We just don't want you to be angry at us. Don't cancel us. You Just do anything. We'll give you any opportunity. It's like, no, you aren't here because of any merit. You're being handed this. But not because you're a cute kid who we want to make their dreams come true. No, it's because you're like the weird, confused, probably creepy adult. They're very, very different situations. Now, Mina, I don't think was competing in this championship. I think they just brought him there to, you know, lift up the diversity and inclusion so that they could feel really good about themselves. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, if he is actually competing, but he has competed at other events in the past. This is not just some little hobby that he's doing on weekends. Here he is in 2020 competing. This is at the Juna Cup. Now, obviously, I have to admit, he's better than I am. He's better than I'm sure a lot of us would be, but it's still strange. Are you guys noticing um, <clears throat> some cultural appropriation? Oh, a jump. Oh, boy. Well, he didn't fall this time, so that's a step up. Maybe you should pick another sport. Suck my dick. Now, I'm shocked that people have not brought up the Japanese cultural appropriation because he was in a full kimono. He had his face painted white. He had his hair done in a certain way. But because he's a trans woman, they can't say anything about him because he is like the most oppressed class because not only is he masquerading as a Japanese person in a kimono, he's also masquerading as a woman, but that trumps everything. So nobody can say shit about it. The whole thing is just strange, but you know what? I'm so glad that men are consistently doing better than women in every single one of their fields. It's just absurd. I mean, literally no talent here. And still, everybody is, like, bending over backwards to applaud him. It's just strange. Thank you for watching the comment section. If you want to see more videos just like this, make sure to subscribe to this channel, turn on your notifications, like this video, and, of course, if you want even more content, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I'm Brett Cooper. See you next time.